Once again, we'll have someone from section one. Very strong down low. There's Carlos Jimenez from section one out of Sleepy Hollow High School, Westchester. He is a senior. 32 pins out of 36 matches, and Tom Mangan is his opponent from Section 2, Averill Park High School. Averill Park is his hometown. 29 and 1, and 22 pins. So Mangan from Section 2, Jimenez from Section 1, and we're set to go. Two is in the maroon. That will be Mangan. He's a senior, two seniors, and Carlos Jimenez out of Sleepy Hollow High School, Westchester will be in the now familiar section one, light blue. Section one, making a great showing this year, very, very strong. Jimenez looks aggressive, as does Mangan. This should be an exciting match. So both wrestlers had a super semifinal bout. Jimenez, being aggressive, but both have great strength. Mangan tries a fireman's carry, gets a leg though, and dumps Jimenez for two points. Nice move. Mangan picks up the takedown and now rides. Carlos Jimenez, lots of time left, 121 in the first period. There's a good look at Mangan, 29 and one. He's got over 100 wins in his career, which is a feat in and of itself. I'm going to take another look at it, Dale. There's that duck to the side, picks up the leg instead of with the dump that we saw in the first match. Takes him to the mat for two. Split the legs and rode him right down. So Mangan picks up two Jimenez now on the bottom, making some moves. Both wrestlers, good upper body check, rolled by Jimenez. Jimenez. Goes through, he should get one if not two on this Dale. Mangan lucky to get his arm up, should hold it at one. There's no points been given yet. They're gonna go out of bounds and get one, I believe. Yes, that's right. We're gonna see a whole lot of fireman carries and barrel rolls here. Uh, both were through quite a few of them in the semifinal match this afternoon. Well, that, that makes it exciting. Nice There's move, a duck oh, under. nice counter. They watch over, step oh, over. Oh. Two points right there for Jimenez. Three to two now. Jimenez showing he's got some, some strength and some moves. This is going to be a good 98 pound match. State championships, the finals, 46 seconds left. First period, lots of action. Mangan down. And down by one point. Nice stand up. Good power came up. Jimenez controls him, however. Brings him back down. Lots of movement by Mangan. Yeah, it was a great stand up Dale, but he, he, he failed to get hand control. Man has dropped down and picked the ankle, took him to the mat. It looked impressive, but as you said, he never was able to get rid of the, the hand control and brought him back down to the mat. Lots of time left, 33 seconds, first period. Ankle pick missed by Manez, and he just. Now he gets the hand control. He's up and out. For the oh! Help. Nice move, and Mangan rolls through. Looked like he was in trouble. Jimenez couldn't hold him. So no change at this point. Now there's this a change. Point. A lot of action. Yeah, 3-3 three, three now. Mangan evens it up. Who's going to duck first? Yeah, just sit. there's a duck under. Six seconds. Ducks, rolls. There's a attempt evenly matched here as this first period ends with a 3-3 three, three score. And that's the way it should be, John, because they wrestle very evenly. You know, just as we, we tell the folks that, you know, it's going to be a little bit defensive, people aren't going to make the big mistakes. You have these two guys coming out throwing everything they know at each other in the first period. I what, think What's going to be left in the second and third period? Absolutely. They are have been very, very aggressive and saw good wrestling. People yelling, don't let up. Most of them have had to go at least three matches, sometimes four to get to this point. Right, and the New York State Championship Finals, once you get here, you're still full of butterflies until probably the second or third period. And sometimes you don't recover until the match is over. You don't see the true wrestler out there. 
I, I don't think that's the case in this match. Mangan just uh, did a jump on the back of the heels of Jimenez, drove him to the mat, now tried to get the half in, step over a try by Jimenez. Mangan working a head lever arm bar, trying to work for a tilt up to the left side. Can't seem to break Jimenez down though. Yeah, Jimenez is very strong, keeps getting up, keeps getting up, which is what you have to do in wrestling. You can't sit there, and also the officials take a dim view of sitting there. These kids are so flexible too at the lighter weights. You take it for granted in the heavier weights, once somebody throws a move, they're usually going to move in that direction. But not in this case. These guys bend and fold and, and pop that's right up, and you think they're pinned and they're not. That's right, and they have, and then counter while they're moving in one direction and counter and come back. So, 116 left in the second period of a very exciting match. Little Tom Mangan, roller. yep, Tom Mangan from Section 2 against Carlos Jimenez from Section 1, and he once again does that heel kick and drives Jimenez down. He's hoping, I think, to maybe tire him out a little bit here, but I don't think it's going to work. Nice move by Jimenez. Woohoo! On the line, good call by the official. Well, two officials. But what you're hearing is the cheering from Section 2 and the booing from Section 1 fans. Mike Giagos is the referee and Pat Collette is the assistant. They both agreed on that. There was no doubt. And Collette didn't even look. The official didn't even look. So it will stay 3-3 with Mangan working on top. Jimenez on the bottom. 45 seconds left, second period. Jimenez looks like he's going to get an escape. He does. Officials Whoa. aren't calling it yet. Nice. Front salto. Nice move. Two points reversal, Jimenez. Peterson attempt, perhaps? Uh, that failed. I think he, Jimenez has a two on one. Yep. And one, uh, one arm through the crotch. Very tough to come stand up or even combat from that position. Lots of control. Jimenez picked up two points, makes it 5 3 now. That man right there with a the one is at this point number one. But. Two minutes and 19 seconds left, 19 in this period. And what we've seen so far, Dale, anything can happen. That's right. You know, it seems like one person's gotten some momentum, then the other person, not in points, but in control in, in that particular. That's right. If we were watching riding time, I think you'd see just about even, uh, probably almost two minutes for each person. Ooh. Just a couple seconds short of getting it one point or two. There's one point for Mangan. Oh, heavy on that arm. Two points for Jimenez. Holy cow. Oh, it's a nice arm throw by Tom Mang Mangan and just didn't get it. Yeah, he got two on that, two one on that arm and pulled it right over the shoulder. He lost it, cost him a takedown, seven four. Go ahead, John. I'm gonna take another look at it. Here comes that arm toss. Brings it just doesn't follow through enough. Comes up on top. And a it, great counter by Jimenez. That's it. Not taking anything away Jimenez because he stopped it mid midair. He did. It looks like he knew that that might have been coming and uh, he caught it when he had to. That so it's 7-4. Great match. Jimenez on top. Now there's stand up. No hand control. That might cost him again. He has brought, Tom Mangan is brought down to the mat once again. He kicks through. He should have one, possibly two on this. Well, he's got to follow through because Jimenez is not going to let him without a fight. I think what you're seeing is, is uh, Tom Mangan is throwing some great moves, but Jimenez being a little bit unorthodox and not uh, ending up in a position that He's Tom Mangan wants. That's, that's right. Yeah. And when that doesn't happen, there goes your whole uh, game plan. Now what do you do? Well, now he's got one leg trying to step behind and get some leverage to get some points. Jimenez goes to a whizzer, and they're going to go back to their feet. I can't wait to see who throws something from here. Yeah, but Mangan stepped on his foot and then got out. 75. Oh, the old step on the foot routine. <laughs> Ooh, nice duck. Move, counter move, nothing. Out of bounds. Got to throw those on the blue. The mat is blue and red. A circle. I heard some of the officials saying this is one of the smaller mats. So uh, lots of action. Going to have to keep it inside. Amanda's tries to take down. One minute now, one minute in this period, in this match, I should say. Mangan throws, shoots. This is it. This headlock. is for the whole. Here's that headlock again. Nothing. He's, he's going to come up with minus two on this. Yep. Cost him. In, in freestyle, it would have been two points and uh, maybe a trade off, two and two. But he didn't get any points in uh, Cleveland style or folk style. 
39 seconds. Mangan is now down by four. Jimenez took advantage, has taken advantage. But boy, this has been a great match. 25 seconds, four points, a lot to make up for right, the man on the bottom. With 20 seconds left, uh, it seems uh, in this position, Tom Mangan's in a world of trouble. Tries to roll through. Uh, he's just trying to get desperate there, hoped he could luck out. But Tom Mangan, not for lack of effort, is going to lose 9-5 to Carlos Jimenez in a great 98-pound match. That was really a lot of action. And Carlos Jimenez, a hard fought and very, very tough victory over Tom Mangan from Section 2. What a super match. But I don't know what, if they, anybody's going to top this the rest yeah. of the way down through. Lots of action. Lots of action.